Hundreds of families are coming together today in the fight for racial equality. Adam Duxer explains why today's demonstrations on Madison's east side are a little different from the ones we've seen in recent months. Well, the message of today's march centered around topics like justice and equality we've seen at demonstrations over the past few months. What makes today unique is who was leading that charge. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Close to a thousand march for equality on Madison's east side today. For the adults, it was a chance to step back and let children like 12 year old Rosa Jasper no lead the way. We just support Black Lives Matter. At a young age, it's easier because then you have a longer time to make your voice be heard. Jasper is just in seventh grade, but today had the chance to lead those far older. Black Lives Matter. It's exactly what organizers of today's Kids March were hoping to see. We were looking for creative ways to pull in more allies into the movement um, because Madison is a city of potential allies. Families from Madison and beyond took time to make signs, <laughs> learn chants, and learn about a message of equal rights for all, something parents say can be a challenging conversation to have. It's really difficult because they're five and, uh, you know, every kid is different and every kid's comprehension level is different. So all they understand at this point is that Black people are being murdered and they want to know why. And how do you explain that to a five-year-old? But for 12-year-old Rosa Jasper, today was a chance to show that despite her age, she has something to say. Kids have a voice too, because some people say kids should be seen and not heard. But I disagree with that, saying that kids should be able to say stuff that they think, because then it could be helpful to the future, like the future people and kids. And just like with recent demonstrations, the message is to carry the conversation into action as time goes on. And well, for adults, that might look like making changes in your workplace or neighborhood. For the kids, it's as simple as having conversations at school with teachers and classmates. In Madison, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. Rosa's adoptive mom says the conversations they've had as a mixed-race family this summer have brought them closer together.